All right, now I'm gonna show you two amazing submissions from the stack pass. It works really, really well. It's easy to do. You don't need to be flexible. You just gotta know how to do it, okay? Um, for the first one, uh, it requires like a little bit of legs, but I will show you uh, when you the way you can do when you have shorter legs like mine, okay? And if you have longer legs, great. One is the triangle, and the second one is uh, the triangle with the head only, okay? Um, I use it in a different way. I use a different grip. Pay attention to all the details, okay? So it's very, very important to find the space when you when you uh, fighting jiu-jitsu or when you're training jiu-jitsu or when you're grappling, okay? You need to find space. So if my foot is like this and I try to put my hand inside his arm, I can't find the space. I want to have this hand going like this under his armpit and I'll go all the way around his shoulder and I'll hook like that okay so if I'm going on this side here I need to escape my hips just like I did before so now look I have a space here okay between my leg okay my inner thigh my groin and his his armpits so I grab like this around so I go here okay so once I got here I'll be on this position, okay? I, can't, I need to be with my back on the floor because I want my feet off the mat like this. If I put my foot on the floor, he can step over my leg and he can ruin my position, step over my leg. He's gonna ruin my triangle here, okay? So I must like, keep my feet high like this, at least this foot right here on this side, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is keep my thumb pointing towards me and I go with the other hand like this, okay? I point the other uh, hand, all fingers facing towards my foot. And I'll grab here, so I'll make a hook like this. Don't use your thumbs, okay? Because then uh, there's a lot of traction between your thumbs and your hand. So just go like that, okay? So you want to slide, okay? You want to be able to, to slide, right? So again, so I'm here. He's trying to fight. He's trying to stack me. Okay, I put my head on the floor. I skip my hips, and I'll find a space here. Okay, just put my hand inside, and now I, I have my hand under his armpits. Keep my leg high so he don't step over. Link my hands together just like so, okay? Once I link my hands together, this leg right here can be over his shoulder, okay? Because right now, Jonathan cannot grab my collar. I try to grab the collar on the other side, Jonathan. It's super hard for him, okay? And this leg in here needs to be near his, his head uh, because I'm gonna set up the triangle. Now, I'm gonna stretch my leg down and pull his shoulder forward. So I'll stretch and pull the shoulder until his arm is over uh, my chest. And once he does that, once you feel like your opponent have the arm over your, your chest, you're gonna have the top leg right here. Keep this leg down, okay? So you can link your hands, to, your legs together like that, locking like that. But look what I gotta do. I don't let go everything to try to get a triangle. I'll get a triangle from here. Yeah, I see a lot of people, they, they're gonna try, they try to do that. In the meantime, the opponent try to go out or put this elbow down, like put this elbow like down like this. So now you're not able to, to lock the triangle. So keep your hand under right here. And what you're gonna try to do right now is to bring and lifting your elbow, bring the arm of your opponent close to your ear. Okay, like this. And now I'm gonna step my left leg in this case, the leg that's over his shoulder here, close to this hand, like so, okay? Just like that. And now I'll push with my left leg away here, look, my left hand, sorry, on my knee, okay? And now Jones, you try to stack me, try to stack me, Jones. I keep the crown of my head again on the floor and I stiffen and lift my shoulders off the mat. Try to stack me, Jones, just like so. Now, look, I escape my hips. I put my foot on his hips, my right foot on his hips. And look, this hand right here, this arm, is making the role of keeping his biceps against his face. So it's super easy for you to lock the triangle, okay? So you lock the triangle. As you lock the triangle, now it's super tight to just pull and then he's gonna tap, okay? And to finish the triangle, you're gonna uh, figure four leg, squeeze your knees together super hard, Grab behind the head and then pull down, okay? And really slow, you don't need to go too fast. Slow and you bridge, just like an armbar. And then he's gonna tap out.
Okay? One more time, go there. Here. So I'm here on this position, okay? Jonas is trying to stack me. I'm gonna push out. So I push my legs down, okay? And escape my hips. Crown off my head, off my head on the floor. Try to go. I escape my hips. Once I escape my hips, I'll find a space here. My hand goes right under his armpit. Once I grab the armpit, link my hands together and make sure your thumb is out, okay? Don't go like this, okay? Try to go all the way deep, okay? All the way around. So now keep your leg over his hips. Now look, you push this, this leg, your, the back of your knee against his arm and push him down and pull, pull his shoulder towards you, okay? Like that. Now when you hear you link your legs together, you track, you uh, lock the legs here. But you see that my, my uh, angle here, it's, it's wrong, okay? So because I'm facing towards the side of his arm, I gotta face away from his arm. Okay, so I need to escape my hips to the other side to have a really nice triangle, okay? So I always say that, it's a triangle. So try an angle, try to find an angle. So I need to find an angle in order to apply a really good triangle. So when I'm, when I'm here, I'm gonna bring this leg, I can grab with this hand right here, and I get, and deliver to the other hand right there. Yeah, go like this. Once I go here, now look, I'll use the crown of the head of the, on the floor, and I'll push him, because he's gonna try to stack me, try to grab my, my collar with the other hand, just, just like this, you see? Try to bring your elbow down, so it's hard. So now in the meantime, I push his, his hips here with my leg. And I start escaping my hips out. I shimmy, shimmy, shimmy like that. And once I can connect his arm against his, his face, I lock, okay? If you feel that it's hard for you to get there, okay? So first you can bring his arm on your ear, okay? It's kind of like you can do a, a reverse arm bar here. Sometimes people tap on this, okay? And then after his arm, his forearm, is connect with your ear, okay? You can go and grab here, all right? Try to bring your elbow down, Jones. Try to stack me, okay? Post my foot on him. Have the back of my head, the crown of my head on the floor. Slide back, I gotta slide back. And see that I, why I slide back? Because the line of my knee was the front of, uh, the line of my hips, actually, uh, my knee was passing the line of my hips. I need to push, okay? So I push like this. And now it's easy for me to lock. Once I lock, I finish it like that. Okay, you don't need to cross his arm all the way to the other side, as long as you keep this hand under here, okay? So what I don't want my opponent to do is to bring this elbow like this, and I cannot lock the triangle, okay? If that happens in the fight, okay? Easily you do this, look, you're here. Even if you link the hands together, link your hands together, Jonathan, like that. You go like this, you lift your hips, put your hand under, in between his arm here, under, and you break the grip, go for the arm bar here, grab your legs over here, okay, on the shin, and now you push. So now easy, like you escape your hips, and then lock the triangle. Once you lock, you finish your opponent. It's super tight, super strong, easy to do. One more time. So I'm here. I'll find a space. Escape, escape my hips, get the hand inside, okay? Break his grip. Once I break his grip, I lock my legs, bring his leg is squared up, bring his, uh, his arm over and close to my shoulder, over my, uh, my ear, and now I change my hook, grab, push my knee, escape my hips, use the crown of my head on the floor, try to stack my joints. See? I don't need to be flexible, I don't need to have long legs, as long as I understand this. Push in the hips, use the crown of the head on the floor so your opponent doesn't stack you while you're doing the triangle, okay? Plus, keeping his biceps against his face, okay? And once you cross the top leg, you see this is his neckline and this is my leg line, so it's gonna be like a cross, okay? Like this. If you keep like that, it's not good enough, so I gotta cross and then I lock. Once I lock, I easily can finish my opponent. I can go for arm bars, wrist lock, or shoulder locks, okay? So it's a reason triangle. And you don't, you don't require like long legs, okay? It's, it's super easy and effective, and it's a great way for you to, to finish your opponent, okay? Now, the second submission that you can do, 
from this position. Okay. Um, my first try was the triangle. Uh, the triangle is really strong, but this one here actually, it works so easy, so simple. Okay. Uh, when my opponent is trying to stack me here, okay. In the meantime that I'm working with my head and fighting with him, I'm gonna go with this hand right here, my right hand, and I'll grab under his chin, just like that. I grab him like that. So I'll put my uh, my this part of my hand right at the beginning of my finger, right on his throat, okay? Right on the side of his throat, okay? The side of the Adam's apple here. And the thumb and the other side. I never go with the thumb in this side. I see people doing the triangle here. They grab the collar and they lock like this. But when you do that, you give opportunity to your opponent to move, you the, move the head like that. Plus he can start stacking you. Start stacking me here. Start stacking you and start passing your guard, okay? With this, this position here, and I use that no gi as well, I'll grab like this, okay? I'll hold like this. So I hold him and then I lock. So once I lock, he can go away from me. His, his jaw is, is locked. It's kind of like a guillotine. Okay, the real guillotine, you know, when, when they lock the, the head of the guy inside that hole, it's the same way, okay? I lock the triangle here. He's gonna try to stack to pass my guard here. It's the same thing, I move my legs away from him. So I open my knee like this, squeeze my knees together, and then I push with my hand against his neck. This is not illegal, okay? Because your hand is facing up. It's illegal if you squeeze with your hand facing down like this, okay? The rules say in the IVJF, if you like to fight masters, words or words or penance. So if you grab like that, that's illegal when you squeeze like this. But when you grab like this, okay, it's not illegal, okay? So you grab here and you're not squeezing his throat. You're just posting this part of your hand against his neck, okay? And now look, he's trying to stack you, you use your head, and you push with your hand, squeezing with your knees. Like that, it's really strong. Go Jones. And it just takes some time, but your opponent will tap. Again, so he's there, as he got here, I go. Just like so. Same side I grab the, the neck here. If, my, if I'm grabbing with the right arm, the right leg goes around goes over and I lock on this side. If I'm grabbing with my left leg, left hand, I go with the other side. Okay, you're gonna have a, a better side than the other. My good side is the right one here. I prefer on this side and I'm good. Sometimes your opponent is not gonna tap on this. Okay, let's say he's really tough, really rough, but also he cannot do anything in order to pass the guard. He's gonna start trying to run away from you like, try, like this and then you just release and and get out, but I believe 90, 95%, 98% of the time when I apply this, all the opponents tap, okay? So it's super easy, super simple. Um, as soon as you grab, just lock the triangle on the head and that's the best way. Some people also try, and I see this happening, especially with kids, they lock just the triangle on the head like this. You're gonna squeeze your opponent will be locked here, but he's not gonna tap if you're not holding anything. This one here maybe worked, maybe will work, but it's not, it's not uh, enough. Sometimes your opponent can move the head like this, okay? Just like to the side. Now he's no longer under his jaw, so he needs to be like this. But it's so easy for him to move the head to the side and start defending, okay? But this one here, 100% effectiveness. Okay, it's very, very good. So now you, if you try to stack you, don't let him fold you like this, okay? Try to fold me like that, so push away, and then squeeze, so push, squeeze, okay? So I'm doing this, push, and squeeze, super hard, okay?